emotional level. And then too, a lot of my divine masculines don't even want to show emotions. How in the hell are you coming into a situation, not showing emotions, not being truthful, but then you want all these things to be mirrored back to you? That makes no goddamn sense. That makes no sense. And that's why a lot of my divine masculines, shit fail. Shit is being destroyed. Because of your way of thinking. This is your way of thinking. My way or the fucking highway. What I'm feeling, if you can't get right, well then go left. Okay? You put that on your dome. Nobody's going to enter a connection with you with no equal give and take. Look at this in, in reverse. They not. And when you're giving the two, who you actually give a damn about? Because neither one of these women are getting, they both getting the short end of the fucking stick. So who you really giving a damn about? Your damn self. So you being selfish. So by you being selfish, guess what? The Holy Spirit, God, the universe, the ancestors, they're not going to give you finances. Not, they're not going to give you the abundance you're looking for financially. Because you're too selfish, divine masculine. You can't just be a taker. I'm a take, 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 take. Okay, I'm going to be a taker. But then what I'm going to do, I want them to be the giver. And I'm going to take everything from this person or from, from whatever person. And I'm not going to give shit in return. But I want all these things back. I want loyalty. I want abundance. I want you to be faithful. Faithful is law. But you're not pouring a goddamn thing into these cups. Everything is being poured into your own cup. You think that the universe and God and the Holy Spirit is going to bless you? Okay. Then you walk around here divine masculine. You walk around here pissed the fuck off. King of Swords in reverse. These women doing this. These women. No, bro. It's you. Look at yourself. Buy you a mirror. And look at yourself. Because... These, all of these women in the past, future, and well, in the past, in the present, and in your future, if you keep this up, they're all going to be ain't shit. They're going to be faulty ass cups because they're mirroring, mirroring what you're putting out, divine masculine. When you do these things, you're only making a person do them back to you. Do unto others as you would have them what? Do unto you. So, you're not faithful. You don't see the need of being faithful. You don't see the need of being loyal. Oh, you're not going to know everything about me. Okay? So, you know what you're doing? You're setting yourself up for failure from, from, from junk. You're saying to yourself, these are the things that I, I don't want for my own damn self. That's what you're saying. But you're not aware of that you're saying it to yourself. Because you're not living in your spirituality. You not as, you think you walk, but you're not woke. You, you, you're straddling the fence. you straddling the fence like a motherfucker. That's why these things are never come into fruition for you. You can sit down and manifest till you blue in the face. They're never going to come to you until you what? Sit your ass down, do the correct shadow work. And recognize what you're doing, rectify it, hold your own self responsible, hold your own self accountable, and that's the only way you can have the things that you want. The loyalty, the abundance, the respect, someone submitting to you. Because at that point, that's how it's going to come. If you true to yourself. True to your spirituality. I promise you, you do what I'm telling you, it's going to come to fruition. Because this is what the Holy Spirit is telling me. But you have to really work hard for what you want. Stop playing games. And work for what you want. And build with the person you want to be with.
Get out of your devil energy. Get out of your ego. Get out of your shallow side. Oh, I, I want someone because they look like this. Or they, they got money. You will never find it. This is what the Holy Spirit is telling me. You will never find it. Because everything you're thinking of is based on this devil toxicity energy. And that is what the universe is trying to tell you, Divine Masculines. It's time to communicate. It's time to have that conversation. It's time to move at a rapid pace. Life waits for no one. Come out of isolation, Divine Masculine. Start communicating properly. So that you can have your new beginning. You can get your wishes if you are healed. And you will have that home you always wanted. And you will finally be financial abundant. But you have to make, you have to accept the right opportunity from the right person. But you can only do that if you are healed. Stop feeling like every situation is going to end up with you suffering. No one wants to fight with you. Everybody's not about conflict and fighting and arguing. It's time to show your emotions. Okay? Stop hiding your emotions. Because the universe and God, Holy Spirit, has something for you. Have a beautiful new beginning with, for you. Okay? A beautiful new beginning. you have to believe in yourself you have to believe in yourself and just take just take a leap do it just jump this is divine timing this is your destiny this is your birthright this is what I'm hearing this is your justice that you've been crying for Oh, I never had nobody love me. I never did this. I never did that. Because you never love yourself. And when you find someone that loves you, you're not going to be able to see it if you don't love yourself. Because how are you going to even know what love is if you don't love yourself? If you don't love yourself, you can't give love. And you won't recognize love. That's why you're all in your head and still thinking negative. Quit speaking negative on your life. And the divine masculine that I'm channeling, they indirectly speaking negative. They don't realize that they're speaking negative on their life. Stop being so immature. It's time to get up on your feet and stand up on your feet. Stop playing games and go after what you want. You know, when I was coming up, I used to hear the old people say, if you study long, you study wrong. Some things, yes, I agree, you have to take your time with. But some things, you take too much time, you're going to lose forever. And you may be the type of person, divine masculine, that... You're slow at doing things. But by you being slow at doing things, you may make the opposition person feel like you're playing games. Or maybe you're going through something, but you don't want to communicate with the next person. So guess what? The next person is going to leave your ass because they're going to feel like, okay, 
He's playing games with me. So you rather a person feel like that you playing games with them other than telling them what's going on? Giving that person clarity. And even if you get that person clarity, Divine Masculines, maybe you'll find out that person will be compassionate and that person is probably the one that will help you financially, okay? Remember what I said? Divine timing. The universe probably sent this person to you to help you. But by you not communicating, you're fucking yourself out of your abundance, everything, because you're overthinking. You're overthinking. And your way is to abandon. I'm going to abandon until I feel like dealing with the situation. And then I'm going to come back and I'm going to abandon it again. That's how you deal with your feelings, by abandoning situations. That's, how, that's not it. You come in real fast, have sex, talk to the person, and then you abandon them. Okay? This is what I'm getting. This is what I'm getting. So, at that point, the person do what? They start protecting themselves. I'm going to protect my heart. I'm going to protect my feelings too. Okay? That's like when you're in the wild. And at some point, the animal's going to do what? They're going to go in survival mode. Oh, I got to protect my, 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 my kids. Or I got to protect, you know, my other, you know, my children or myself. You come out when you want temptation. Temptation brings you out. Okay? And there's nothing wrong with that. But you're in denial with what you're doing. You're in great denial. This is what the universe is telling me. You don't even feel like you're hurting anyone. You don't feel like you even owe anyone an apology. That's not so. That's wrong. That's the wrong way of thinking, Divine Masculine. I don't know who this message is for today. Even trickery. And I'm going to tell you what happens when you give all this back to the universe. All of this comes back on you with karma. You don't even have to believe in karma because guess what? It's going to come back either way it go. Okay? Then if this is mentioned to you, you go on a defense. Okay? But the Holy Spirit say you have to have faith. Okay? You have to trust in the process and in yourself. Okay? And you have to release control issues. See, that this is controlling the upright. This came out in reverse. You have to release the control. The control is what's damaging your relationships. The need to be in control is what's damaging your relationships, divine masculine. And you always want revenge on some damn body. You cannot think like this and have a pure heart space, divine masculine. It don't work that way. And you're not living in your higher self when you do that. Not at all. Then you go abandon the person and then you feel guilty. Then all it keeps doing is becoming a vicious cycle. And guess what? It becomes an obsession as to what you're doing. And it becomes a pattern that you do. And that's why you be stuck feeling lost and alone. Suffering in silence. Don't want to communicate. Okay? That's what it is. But you're on a road to destruction if you don't stop. Okay? This is my message to you, Divine Masculines, today. I hope you enjoyed it. If I have, um, if this is a two-part message, please look at all parts because it's very important. But this is my last card, judgment. You keep this up, your judgment will come, and it will not be good. Okay? Because Holy Divine Spirit sees.